Maths makes money decisions a whole lot easier. There's no avoiding maths when it comes to money. Basic financial calculations require nothing more than addition and subtraction. However, the more life-changing financial decisions require much more financial technique. In this financial maths module, we take you back to the basics with revision of simple interest, straight-line depreciation, compound increase and decay, nominal and effective interest rates. In order to be successful in financial maths, you will need to understand the concepts of compound interest, present and future values of annuities, balance outstanding on loans, and sinking funds. Finance growth and decay are roughly 15 plus 3 marks in the final exam, which is 10 to 12 percent of Maths Paper 1. In preparation for your exams, make sure to watch all of the Financial Maths Back to Basics videos and attempt all of the assessment questions at the end of the lesson. Once you've mastered those skills, the enrichment and career videos will take you beyond the classroom.